Alright guys, so because of popular demand, I'm going to make this video all about my sensitivities. My numbers, the who's, the what's, the why's, all that jazz. But before we get into all of that, I want to quickly say that the montage challenge competition is coming to an end really, really soon. This Sunday, I'm going over all of the entries that get submitted into me, and I'm picking a winner. So good luck to anybody that's looking to compete into it. Also, I want to quickly give a shout out to Chicken Man because he has finally moved into his new house. As this uploads, he should be moved in very shortly. And that means when he gets his internet sorted out, that stream is going to happen and it's going to be hype. I want you guys to get ready for that. So make sure you follow him so you're all ready. And let's get right into the sensitivities. I'm going to quickly go through it. So, let's start off with this. Any hero that I just go over and I bypass, that means I haven't touched their sensitivity and this is their sensitivity, okay? So, we'll start from the bottom. And by the bottom, I mean the top. <laughs> we'll work from the top and work our way to the bottom, starting with Ana. That means leaving Widowmaker last. So, if you're only here for Widowmaker, just skip towards the end of the video. But if you want to see all my sensitivities for every hero, then by all means, here we go. So Ana is very similar to Widowmaker. Very similar. A little slower on the uh, aim sensitivity while zoomed, but not too much slower. I like to be a little bit more precise. They need to not kick you from the training arena. That's what they need to not do. That is ridiculous. Okay, well, <clears throat> Ana was done. Uh, Genji. Genji is a little faster. I like playing Genji different. Now, I'm not saying I'm a pro Genji. I'm pretty good at Genji. I've actually gotten used to him. I, li I love playing him. He's one of my favorites, actually. But I kind of play for the dash reset. So I kind of go for like the weaker targets and dash around like crazy. kind of play Genji like that. I don't know how proper that is or not, but that's kind of how I do it. Hanzo. Some of you may know, I actually used to play a lot of Hanzo. I'm a pretty good Hanzo. These are, these are the numbers that I use for him. It hasn't changed in forever. But, uh, yeah. Mass Mahanzo. Let's see what time play to have with Hanzo, actually. 74 hours. Thank God I started playing Widowmaker. Whew. I, ha <laughs> I don't think I'd have as many friends if I was a Hanzo main now. Lucio. A little lower of a sensitivity. But, now here's the nice thing with Lucio. Is I play with a scuff controller, right? So I have the buttons on the back that allow me to jump and crouch and still aim and move around. So it's easy for me. Now for you, if you're playing Lucio, I highly recommend that you remap your controller. Overwatch is awesome for remapping buttons. Like you can, it's, it's, <laughs> it's endless what you can do. You can have any button do anything, which is crazy. So remap your controller so you can jump around like a madman. And I recommend putting backwards wall right on. That helps a lot. So... That is Lucio. Who next? The Cowboy Man. A little slower of a sensitivity. Very similar to uh, Soldier. You Characters like this, you want to be more accurate. Characters like this, it reminds me of like Call of Duty or Battlefield. And I always played with a slower sensitivity when it came to those games. Just to be way more accurate. So, there you go. There's McCree Cree. I don't even know what this is. Recoil, recoil Aim Compensation. Like, what's with all these stupid sensitivity options? Like, after his last update, like, aim assist strength, aim assist size, like... Oh my god, there's just way too many. It's so silly. Alright, so as we continue getting towards the bottom... Reinhardt! Okay, now, I know you guys, like, I kind of joke around and I'm like, Yeah, I'm a below average Reinhardt, and I just, you know, make jokes like that. But I'm actually a pretty good Reinhardt. I love playing Reinhardt. He's, he's a lot of fun. Now... I have the aim smoothing down to 90. Now, to some of you, I'd be like, that's not that much. But aim smoothing, it changes a lot. So from 100 to 90 is pretty outrageous. Like, that's a lot. So this is a really fast sensitivity for Reinhardt. It doesn't let me be as accurate with my fire strikes or fire blasts, whatever that's called. But I can swing the shit out of my hammer and shield in every direction. And that's what I like about Reinhardt. Now, the... Creme de la creme, what most of you are here for. Widowmaker. Boom. These are the sensitivities for Widowmaker. Now, if you're ever wondering what my sensitivity is, 
you can always check the description of my channel. And like whatever game it is, sometimes I tweak the numbers a little bit and I'll just test out this or test out that. If you're ever wondering what my sensitivity is in that video, just check the description. It'll always be there. <clears throat> Even in future videos, like future videos, sometimes I, like I said, I tweak it a little bit. But these have been the numbers for quite some time now, a couple weeks for sure. Actually, since since the uh, the aim smoothing has been introduced into the game, really. So that's the new sensitivity. And we'll go down here. The hook sensitivity and the zoom sensitivity. Again, recoil recovery aim compensation. I don't know what the fuck. Turn that on, turn that off. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Widowmaker. And that's what I use to click the buttons. We are finished with that. So, one last time. Good luck in the contest. That might be the next upload. I'm not sure if I'm going to get another video out until the contest is done. But I have had a lot of entries so far, guys. Like, finished products and drafts. And let me tell you, there are some incredibly talented people out there. And I can't wait. To, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Regardless if anything else comes out right now, I'm telling you, the, it's going to be hype. It's crazy. Some of the stuff that I've seen is insane. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I know you guys will enjoy that because it's it's nutty. But uh, yeah, and follow Chicken Man on Twitch. That stream is coming soon. The sooner we get, the I'll, I'll be able to give you guys notice way sooner. I don't have an exact date and time, but very very soon so make sure you follow him because it's going to be lit i hope you guys have a good one maybe you no know, maybe i'll do a double upload i got some gameplay that i could upload maybe we'll do a double one anyways okay have a good one guys